So this is what the Sensi Smart Thermostat from Emerson comes with. You'll notice it has the back panel, which has all of these labeled, the R, C, R, H, um, O, Y, G, white, or C cable, as well as these L, Y2, and W2. And this is the faceplate, and you can see uh, relatively how thick it is. Now I will compare this in another video with the Honeywell side by side, so you'll see the back here. So you're, you're going to put on the face plate or, or the back plate and then just snap this on. It does also come with two batteries in case your thermostat does not support a C wire and it has a C wire missing then it could be powered by batteries. Um, it does have the stickers here and also the mounting brackets for the drywall and directions for the smart application or smart app on your phone or a tablet. So let me go ahead and now uh, simply install this. So this is my old thermostat that I'm going to replace with the Sensi Smart Emerson thermostat and I want to show you the inside. So this may or may not have a C wire and the Sensi Emerson Smart Thermostat supports either with a C wire or without a C wire. And let me show you, uh, you know, why I suspect it doesn't have a C wire, even though my place is very modern. You know, it's only 10 years old. So this is the Robert Shore. If, if I pull this out, for example, you, you'll see it needs batteries. So that's an indication that there is no C wire. And if I go in here, you know, there's an RC and RH wire, but I don't see a C wire. Maybe it's in there, um, but I'm not sure, which is why I just picked the Emerson and not um, any other smart thermostat for that reason. And just the fact that the um, Emerson Sensi Smart ther thermostat supports batteries, I figured I'd go safe and, um, you know, try that out. So let me go ahead and uh, install it and uh, show you the process. Now the other thing you want to notice is, um, so my Robert Shore is a model 9600. You'll notice I have electric or gas, mine is gas, so this is down here. Um, air, here is uh, the removal of one screw, another screw. There's a reset button here. Um, the other things you might want to notice is the order of the color coding and also the order of where the wires are plugged in. So there's an RH, you know, going down, there's an RC, and there's a W, and then there's a Y and a green. So uh, pretty much, um, I, I wanna say it's named uh, more or less with, with the uh, color of the wire itself. So before I install this, I do want to compare this to my old Robert Shaw. So this is my old thermostat, and you could see there that I have the labels RH, RC, W, Y, and G, and there is no C wire for this. It also has the electrical or the gas configuration. And this, this is the same thing here where it does support the C wire. Um, Whereas here, for my old one, it has the battery compartment for the non-C wire. This also has the battery compartment. And even for my old thermostat, it did not have an RH wire. And side by side, you could see that if you wanted to do the manual operation, you could also do the manual operation here with the mode, fan, schedule, you know, up and down, and the menu, as well as with, you know, the same thing with my old one. So the size of this, you can see it's six inches across and up top it is three and three quarter inches, 3.75 inches. And the thickness itself, you know, just to give you an idea, and this is without the back plate. And after I install this, I'll, I'll give you a look of the back plate itself. But I think that is what most people you know, may want to be aware of is just that your new one covers up the holes of your old one. So what's so nice about this Sensi is that you, you see it does come with this leveler here. So you, you could get it approximately, uh, basically level at the center. Now, 
it also has this vertical so even if you're a little bit off you, you could adjust and tighten so just the tip here that you want to connect these wires first before you push this wire into the wall because you, you want the loose wires in that hole so that it's not blocking any of the things in, in the back or even in the front when, when you're trying to mount this plate uh, in, in this little small area. So I put the face plate in, it's 76 degrees and so I'm going to test out the air conditioning. So the app is going to come with instructions after you install the app. You'll notice here, um, you could choose, I know it needs to be installed and it's going to walk you through some instructions here. I'm just going to push next. It wants you to power down the HVAC, remove your old one, and it even uh, prompts you to take a picture of your old wiring. And it tells you to remove the jumper from your previous wiring. Your current Sensi stat or thermostat has automatic wiring. So you also choose your wires. So I had an RC, so I chose basically it was blank and my old one had an RC, a white, a Y, and a G. And you can see here in the bottom it says it's a valid configuration. And I'm gonna go next, you know, whether it's gas. So I'm gonna choose that it's gas. And I'm gonna go next. And you'll notice here, it tells you to label it and put in your wires. Click next, remove the base, pop the new one in, and it'll tell you, you know, there is, uh, put the corresponding wires in there, R, C, Y, G, W, and E, put it back in, and uh, turn on the power, and now it gives you the mode, so you're going to push the menu, and I will allow here. So it's just going to sense the Sensi. And it was unable to find. So going back to my thermostat, I'm going to push menu. And you'll see there's a blinking connect here. So I'm going to push connect. And that is going to blink. And now I'm going to go back to my app and detect the wireless. So now that I've done the connection on my thermostat, I am going to click next to detect the thermostat. So it's going to search for it on my network. And it found it, I'm going to click next. And I am going to click next again. And this pin is actually in the back of the thermostat or in a sheet that it gives you in, in the guide itself. So I'm going to enter in this number. So after I enter in the number, it's going to connect, set up the Wi-Fi. So that's my Wi-Fi network. And I'm going to put in my username and password, or actually just the password. After putting in the password, just join the network. So it's configuring the thermostat now. You can see the bottom says provisioning complete. And now it could actually name my thermostat. So I'm going to just say uh, Sensei. I'm going to click next. So it's just registering my thermostat and now I could start using it. You'll notice here I do have it configured. The Wi-Fi is on. I'm using battery and it actually shows you the battery meter, which is great. When, when the battery is running down, you could actually tell. And I have every, everything off. You could have a manual uh, setting here on the faceplate. So I just want to go through some of the features of the app itself. So you'll notice this is the home page. Gives you the degrees and the humidity um, down here. You have the settings 
heat, cool, auto or off. And your fan control on or auto. And you could create a schedule here. So the schedule, your schedule type, you could have a program, geofencing. That means that if you're approaching your home that it might or might not turn on. You could do a programmed and edit schedule and you'll see there is an entire uh, basically you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday sort of deal to discard the heating schedule or an auto schedule so in the auto schedule for example you could uh, set sort of the same exact sort of temperature groups and I'm just gonna discard here go through these really quickly and usage it actually shows you the usage your monthly usage for example and in the settings you could lock the display display humidity so I do want to display humidity display time display Fahrenheit or Celsius in the system settings you can lock the display on the manual display on the thermostat itself and control everything from the phone you can have offset heating cycle cooling cycle AC protection here name location about the thermostat you know, the version of your app and whether it's gas or you know whatever you configured it to be the battery status the voltage of the battery status energy saving programs it even gives you um, so that's really it that is a nutshell the application itself uh, very simple and basic um, and I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you for watching